and good morning to everybody how you doing we are going from singapore to sri lanka as we continue our world tour with leg six in our pmdg dc6 alpha got the airplane pretty much ready to go so we'll be uh, pushing back here in just a minute We've got a beautiful day for the flight. Uh, as I've said before, there's not a lot to see after we leave the island. Unless you like looking at blue water. Deep, cool water. But it is a beautiful day in the tropics. Pull onto the taxiway, we got a long way to go to get to the end of this runway. Speed this up just a little bit so you don't have to watch the entire slow process of taxiing down to the runway. So, through the magic of film editing, 
we're going to do is we're going to speed up this process just a little bit here. And we're here at the end of the runway. in the proper configuration. Air Collins for takeoff. We'll get the engines run up and we'll get on our way to the island of Sri Lanka. Setting our climb. Uh, autopilot is on. So we'll turn to our heading.
Okay. It's been a pretty good flight. Very calm and quiet. Got about an hour left. 256 miles to go. So where we're headed to today is the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka. It's an island country in South Asia near Southeast India. Sri Lanka has maritime borders with India to the northwest and the Maldives in the southwest. Sri Lanka documented history spans 3,000 years with evidence of prehistoric human settlements dating back to at least 125,000 years. Its geographic location and deep harbors made it of great strategic importance from the time of the ancient Silk Road through the World War II. Sri Lanka was known for the beginning of British colonial rule until 1972 as Ceylon. Sri Lanka's recent history has been marred by a 30-year civil war, which decisively ended when the Sri Lanka military defeated the Liber Liberation Tigers of Tamal Elam in 2009. A diverse and multicultural country, Sri Lanka is home to many religions, ethnic groups, and languages. In addition to the majority Sinhalese, it is home to large groups of Sri Lankan and Indian Tamils, Moors, Burgers, Mal Malays, Gafirs, and the Aboriginal Veda. Sri Lanka has a rich Buddhist heritage, and the first known Buddhist writings of Sri Lanka, the Palakanan, dates back to the fourth Buddhist council in 29 BC. Sri Lanka is a republic and a unitary state governed by a semi-presidential system. The legislative capital, Sri Jahadapura Kote, is a suburb of the commercial capital and largest city of Colombo. Sorry for the pronunciation. Sri Lanka has had a long history of international engagement as a founding member of the South Asian Association of Regional Corporation and a member of the United Nations, the Commonwealth of Nations, the G77, and the Non-Aligned Movement. Along with the Maldives, Sri Lanka is one of the two countries in South Asia that are currently rated among high human development on the human development. So, that's your little history snippet of where we're going. And we're just coming over the uh, beginning part of the island, heading over to Colombo, where we'll be landing at the airport there. I'm not sure what we're going to find as far as the airport. Uh, it's probably just going to be a long runway. I wasn't able to find any specific uh, scenery packs or anything for this uh, airport. So we'll see how it goes. <coughs> Excuse me. Somewhere out there, there's a runway. 
I sure haven't been able to see it yet. See the beacon. My goodness. It's like a needle in a haystack. I suspect it is just a big line. There's no buildings. That's a shame. It's a beautiful island, beautiful part of the world. Here you get to see what it looks like when you hit the reversers early by accident. You throw up a little bit of dirt. Everything's all right though. No damage to the airplane. We did land a little bit short. But you notice this runway didn't have much of an overrun either. So welcome to Sri Lanka. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll come back next time. Until then, safe flying. <laughs>